Hey ladies and gentlemen, I am Volkom and today I'm streaming the Alliance of Destruction versus the Polish Eagles. With me today I have Sparho from America. Hello Say hi. people. <laughs> and uh, we got Arminas um, from DOF. Yes, hello. Alright, it's my first time streaming this one, so I'll need you guys to enlighten me what's um, happening and uh, what the rules are and such. Okay, well, the rules are pretty much standard WNL rules. Four rounds per set, four sets, two sets over each map. And that's pretty much it. Same gold, same speed. Okay, and they have um, the flag spawns at two minutes, I assume? Yes. Alright, so they either have to kill each other or get the flag raised, right? Yeah. Okay. Standard match rules. Alright then. Um, people who are watching, you can notice that my minimap is kind of messed up. I don't have a minimap for this um, for this map in general, so sorry about that. But you can kind of see the positions of the players, if that helps about anything. Um, on one side, on the AD side, we got... Three calf, one archer, and one infantry. What do you think about that, Sparhawk? I am not... Uh, I'm fairly new to the 5v5s, but... That's a pretty good lineup for... Uh, for this map, I think. You want to have at least as many cav as you have... Um, ground troops, or at least equal to say archers or something you've got to be able to spread out you got to be able to take control of of the map and the cav or the way to do that on this one yeah it looks like it because it looks like an open map doesn't it it is and if this uh, flag spawns as it just did across the map the vagers for example the are going to have to run all the way across the map and their infantry are going to be at a severe disadvantage yeah, as we can see now, because um, the Polish Eagles only have two calf, but instead they have two archers, so they're kind of based on ranged fighting, I think. They also have one infantry, I believe, with crossbow. So that's like yeah. three crossbowmen. Also, I've, as I've seen in some of the uh, North American clans, one of the SWAT and cav appears to have a long all pike as opposed to a great lance or a regular lance which is interesting uh, since they're basically giving away the SWAT in's main advantage on a map like this oh he made it work uh, took out Corsiero there yeah Corsiero tried to go for Black Hawk on the ground right there trap on the mm, same nice map. headshot oh, not headshot. so nice I was going for the cav there That's too bad it's just Cap Rage. stopped, but wasn't able to capitalize on that. Rage is trying to do something about the archer right Cap there. down. They're just down and dead. It's yeah. not going the Vagar's way right now. They still have the New player, player is trying to fight off a cav there. It'll be really hard for Not making a lot of progress. The silver can mm, survive for 10 on seconds. Him, Half his health, he can so. actually take this round, but now he uh, died. New players, probably gonna die here in a second. Yeah, it's not much he can do. He can try to survive though. Nah, uh, he does no. not. Oh, the problem there, I think, was the Vegas were on the opposite side of the map and their infantry and the foot troops were not able to get there fast enough to support the cav. Uh, so they went down a little prematurely. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's a good first AD. start for Polish Eagles. Hopefully, uh, AD can pull something back. But do you think they need to change classes to do so, or do you think they're right with three cats? I think their their class setup is okay. Uh, I don't know the uh, European clans hardly at all. I've only ever scrimmed with Doff against a couple of them, uh, so I don't know these guys' strengths and weaknesses. But I don't know if they absolutely need a an infantry ad needs an infantry given that uh polish eagles only have two cav and they're not even great lance cav i might as the ad guys i might take a second archer 
and get them spread out with just cap support. But it, it would all depend on what the other team did. Okay, that's, uh, that's a fair point. I, I I wouldn't have a clue either. With five people, it's, it's, that seems kind of yeah, it's, it's very small. different. It's a very different dynamic than a seven v seven or eight v eight, as uh, I'm typically used to. Yeah, I agree. Cause especially on this map, like I, I really don't know it that well, and it seems very open. Not much places where you can um, hide or like be at or defend. There's only yeah, like not, these few trees, and that's it. It's a map where Cav have to stay alive until, um, well, it usually comes down to a fight on the flag, so the Cav really needs to stay alive for that and really support their infantry, because a Cav on Cav battle is never a good idea in a scrim. Um, well, that doesn't make sense, though. If you do ha go for a lot of Cav, you would rather force the fight in the open like before they get to the flag rather than fight on the flag. Well, I know, but... If you are rushing for the flag and the enemy cab goes for your infantry, you're not going to have anyone to fight on the flag when you get there. So, yeah, yeah, it's a choice you have to make. Um, Erminus, but anyway, in this case, do? in this case, it is in the open, uh, in the middle. So both teams are equidistant from it. They AD downed. One of the PE cav, that was pretty well done. Yep, yeah, that the Punisher. will be big advantage now. Yeah, they've got three cav to, uh, to PE's one at this point. So I they're think, looking pretty good. Nice hit on the crossbow. Master of the field that they he wants every time to see. Because it's an open and they have three cav now. Silver getting in there, trying to keep Punisher distracted so he keeps his lance away. Mm, good hit on him. Rage coming in. Nice knockdown. Both teams got a good knockdown there. But Silver finishes up the infantry. Good dodge on the Cav. Takes a bit of his horse as hell. Oh, Ooh, Black Hawk that was again. A nice shot by Black Hawk there. He's uh, down one of the AD Cav. He's a really good archer. He took uh, Corsiero though. Oh, he had a he had a head on him. No, he did have it, but it didn't kill him. Yeah, so, sadly. So he's been the shooting was able really to well. Up, Silver's one on one against their cro uh, one of the crossbows. He loses that fight. I don't know. This oh. was a weird round for me. AD should have taken this. Yeah, it looked yeah, like they, they had it. They were doing really well. Um, the, I think the problem there was the Cav didn't focus on the active crossbow. Uh, and he really hurt them, taking down two horses like he did to uh, to cavalry. Yep. Once again, I agree. And um, hopefully, like they have the same classes right now. Uh, they didn't change anything, and hopefully, they will try to focus on that archer. Yeah. I don't know. Silver Silver did a lot of uh, of good work at the flag there last time, so I don't know if I would end up swapping him out at this point. After all. Uh, there is rule actually in you that you can't swap players during one set. Gotcha. You can or you can't? You can't, you can't swap players, but you could swap troop types though, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea if Silver's at all a good archer or not. Looks like AD's taking the center of the map right now. New player at a tree shooting at anything that moves. It's weird to see that Cav silver is, rage is down. Rage is down, fighting off two Cav here. They're doing these early Cav um, thingies right now. The thing that you said that is bad move, it's happening. Yeah, well, they had an advantage and now they've lost it. They've got, uh, they've got a downed horse, and the only thing he's good for now is his spear. Yep, that's true. I um, I agree that once a cab is taken down, they're not as strong as infantry, and usually, I don't oh, know, like a half a that's player. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good assessment there. Yeah. Flex spawns in ten Looks seconds. Like both teams backed off a bit, getting a breather. The crossbow Third flag is should be in the swamp. Sit again, the swamp. So I think that is what. Or, no, 
It's on the center, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that favors uh, AD this time. They're they're right on it. If you're quick with uh, your fingers. If they're going to hope to take this, though, they've got to have their Cav able to take out the crossbow sitting in the swamp. That's uh, Black Hawk, I believe. If you're quick with Rage your fingers. Rage is pushing in. He's got no support right now. That was a really bad move. Cav yeah. gets stopped and almost dead. Yeah, he gets punished for that. Virtually for sure. no health left. Oh. And two player. Oh, that was a good stop. That was a very good stop. You need to capitalize on it. Mm, good shot by new player on Trebron there. Nice takedown. So that's uh, that's both sides. Cav is down, I believe. No, not. All right. Uh, almost both sides. Shots are being fired like from one side to another, and I do believe mm, that, that was new a player. Very nice double tap on the on Prusak there by the silver and their cap. Sure, sure. I don't believe new player is a new player to be honest. Well, so he's no, been shooting a little I'd say too probably good. Not. That was a very, <laughs> very nice shooting by new player there. He definitely saved the day. You got three kills that round. That is pretty yep. damn good, considering there's only five of them. Mm hmm. Basically, anyone here that plays good really stands out because there's only five players. Yeah. And last round, that was new player. Well, that last round, I think AD was a was a bit more coordinated, apart from Rage running in and dying like he did. Um, they did. They worked well together. The infantry supported the archers, and the archers put the cav. Uh, it was a nice circle of death there. How many like, um, uh, PE rounds? is moving into the swamp again. Blackhawk taking early shots at the uh, AD cav. Uh, what does AD stand for, by the way? It's probably a dumb question. I should have known beforehand. It's um, Alliance of Destruction. Yeah, it's oh. a Russian clan, I think. They're okay. really, really dark. <laughs> How many they rounds? They look fairly so? white to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably... Rage looks like he's trying to tempt the, uh, the cav out into the open for their archer to shoot. AD is um, pretty split open actually. They have three calf but they are taking full map control as they have a calf all the way on the yeah. left, all the way on the right. Oh, they can't afford to let PE get around behind them. I think if I would play this map, I'd probably try like five infantry oh. and just go flank. PE moving up on the side, trying to flank the guys at the bridge. No, nope. they're pulling back now. The caver, AD caver, moving in. And He's probably hoping for this last round that my of the field mm. would spawn and then, it's but he doesn't. Right in the middle again. That makes three times this uh, this one map, the half of the map. It's pretty incredible. Blackhawk is right up, right up at the bridge this time. Misses his headshot on Rage by a, like a two inches. Yeah, but he's gonna AD get a really shot. He really needs for sure. to take Blackhawk out because he's gonna do that to him. So yeah. third headshot on a cab, I think this, uh, the set. And down goes two of the AD cav for one of PEs. That's not a very good trade. And the uh, PE's got a really nice crossfire right now. They're, I don't think yeah. they're gonna pull this one back. It's no, 2v4. No, no. Especially if with a crossfire against them. Mm, that was uh, nice shooting nice by Blackhawk. Play. He avoided the guy in front of him, shot the enemy fighting his teammate. Yeah, I agree. That was very nice play. Um, so that's it for the first set. And um, it is 3 to one, three. Eagles. And uh, went to Lines of Death. Army, you've got streamers. Yes. Do they well, have a? This is live. Do they have That's a break, okay. or do they go straight into it? It's up to them. If the teams want to play right away, they can play. Okay. But usually, first round after the change is not live.
I think uh, Polish Eagles are looking really strong right there with Black Hawk. But if I look in the game now, is he in it? Black Hawk? He is. Okay, I thought yes, they swapped he, uh, them out. Shows him on the scoreboard anyway. Yeah. Okay, He's in infantry at the moment, but if this isn't live, that's not gonna follow through, I bet. I don't think it's live, because um, Prusak is really beating on Black Hawk at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, rushes in and dies, and gets stopped and mauled by all pikes. Love it. Seems Sadie prefers having more cav, so they might play better as well, you know. I would agree with what Sparhawk said earlier. I hope they earlier. can. Um, what Sparhawk said earlier was that it's not really useful to play infantry on this map because you got that really, really wide map and as an archer I believe you play infantry and ranged and as a calf I believe you play infantry and like calf so you got like two classes upon you. So it would be smart like to pass out on infantry on this map. Be calling out that they're ready. Yeah, I also, I hope uh, AD can capitalize on the Great Lances, um, although, is it, a, I, I can't see the gold at the moment, is it a thousand gold, or is it, it is 120 thousand. as usual? Thousand. Yeah, okay, that would definitely uh, put a damper on the Great Lances. No, you can't afford it in the first yeah. round if you want to kill Hunter. You can afford it with a Corsair and, like, default armor. Looks like uh, we're going live again to the second set. Score so far is 1 for AD and 3 for Polish Eagles. Um, AD going with a 2 inf, 2 archer, 1 calf, which is uh, kind of strange for Swede. He's got 2 inf, 1 archer, and 2 calf. Hmm, this is pretty inf heavy on both sides. For yeah, both I people. expected AD to go uh, a bit calf heavier. Uh, guess they're not going to this time. And as Fagers, I mean, skip a. Blackhawk, which has been an amazing archer, to put him as infantry as Vega is kind of a weird thing. Yeah, well, no idea how that's going to turn out not having seen him play before. Aside from his crossbow work just last set, maybe he's a really good infantry who they needed to play crossbow that round, I don't know. Well, if that's the case, he's been proving himself as a crossbow as well then. Oh. P moving straight up, taking the stone the stone bridge. ADs moving across, trying to that's a pretty get smart a little bit of a presence there. That's a really also smart trying to move. get a trying to get a good crossfire on them. They got their infantry and crossbow on the right hand side of the bridge as well. I think AD uh, swapped someone out for Nixoff as well. Is that correct? Yeah. They did. They they swapped Corsero out. Yep, that's right. Which was a calf. Corsario. Yep. Some shots are being fired right now. They got there. Rage in still, but he's a crossbow this time around. Yeah, I think I know Ray. I think I know who that is. And uh, he plays crossbow as main, so... This is gonna Cross be... Crossack trying to get some easy jab hits. Oh, the flag spawns on them. AD, new player, and Silver moving up to push them off of the other side of the bridge. Cav taking a preliminary hit at them right now, losing some help on his horse. Blackhawk moving in, give the calf some support. Lands a jab. And crossbow is down. He's doing well, but I don't think he's going to survive this. The uh, other PEs cleaning up the other group of infantry and cavs, sadly, and that was a wipe. For, sadly, uh, I don't think they are really talking to each other.
No. Because they're not really warning each other over enemy archers and enemy movements. Yeah, that's that's a very good point. I wonder how their team speak is right now, because uh, they do find kind of find kind of split up, don't they? They they choose. Yeah, well, they their had a good thing enemy. going at the at the beginning, but they weren't able to capitalize. They got pushed by single infantry, and that knocked their crossbows out of commission right away. Yeah. Looks like both teams headed straight for the flag. Uh, sorry, for the bridge. I think Trying the to bridge. Take they may have know? an engagement right now. I think the bridge is everything in this map. Both, uh, both PE Cav coming in behind them, going through the river. Oh, nice shot! And that they helps don't. As well. PE doesn't do themselves any favors. Headshotting press sec. Nice shot by a new player. Took out more than half of the PE archer. And it's just a scrim, like whatever you can hit, Princella just hit just it. Whamming away, and that was a wipe for 80. That was a really good move on their part, pushing right in, getting them out of position. Yeah, it was well done. Yeah, exactly. I think they're gonna try to do the same because it works out for them. Does that mean they can win individually over them? Uh, I think that just means that PE is more cohesive as a team. They they just weren't ready for that. Uh, fuddle assault there. I don't know, like I said, I, I don't know the European clans hardly at all, so I'm not sure, and strengths, weaknesses of the commanders of the players. He, he Looks got like both two sides calf. still taking the stone bridge. He got two calf behind him already, so... Um... Rage going in for a bump, misses it. Misses the archer, but they got an infantry in there to take him out of commission. Nice jab by Blackhawk. Oh, beautiful jump hit with the sword by Blackhawk there. He took down two of the AD calves there. So we're getting uh, bing banged and dead. That was a wipe for PE. And it's interesting, this round has gone both ways. Yeah, pretty challenged to each other, but I feel that PE knew that AD was gonna do the same thing, so they had two. Yeah, calf they from they adjusted back. and they they adapted to the situation a lot better than AD did, I think. Yep. Hopefully, AD is not gonna rush to the bridge. Looks like they are this time again, but they swapped out a crossbow for another infantry. Ooh, that is smart. That is gonna I believe turn Nixoff out. was a crossbow last time. That is going to change a lot right now, I tell you that. Yeah, they they, they need the extra all pike to keep the cav off. That's the, the cav was what really ruined them. As well as Blackhawk and his mad jab skills. Here comes the two cav from behind on the bridge, though. Nice takedown there. But cav eight. is coming in, but they miss him. AD is uh, not sticking together that well, and uh, Prince took down. Princella is doing some serious work there. Oh, he goes down. It's 2v2. 2v2, but the Cav is hurting right now. Good knockdown, but he blocked his uh, infantry's hit. Oh, that was a very nice takedown with the L Pike. If he was smart, he would dismount. Uh, Trebron is pretty smart Cav. He didn't let him get the stop. Give him time to get in there and hit him with a sword. Uh, he lets him poke once and then he goes for it. Rage really needs to be backing away right now. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. That was, a, that was a close one. So we got 6-2 for P, uh, P's favor right now. Yep, that's Moving right. Moving on to the next map. I'm curious what the next map is, to be honest. Uh, my preparation does not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Alright, uh, Romanos can Google it really quick. Do you? Mm, well, I think we've seen North Town before this, so I think that was Sadie's choice. Oh. Romanos, you're you're the grand master of this tournament, and you don't know it. Shame. No, on no, you. the second map, second map is picked by teams. Oh. Uh, yes, the winner like of the North duel picks the second map. And yeah, it is North Town.
Rodox Let's... and Nords. That's a classic matchup, even though they aren't necessarily the counters for each other. It is, um, especially on this map. I like it if the Rodox mm -hmm. are um, up top. They start up top and modified. This is modified almost beyond recognition. Look at that. Oh yeah. Well, not really, but they've got alleys and. Yeah, go to took Nords. down some of the platforms and. Go to Nords and you can go to the right. That I really, really mm -hmm. like. That's a good mob. They it took down the uh, archer have... platforms, basically. On both sides, but they added a small one up by Gingerbread. Hmm, interesting. Another team calling ready yet. Um, I got a question coming in from uh, the stream, and they are asking who are my co-casters at the moment. Well, on one side I got Sparhawk. From Golden Kingdom over in native, uh, uh, sorry, North American side of go. things. There you go. And uh, on the other side I got Erminos. Hello. Quiet, but uh, has a very good opinion when it comes out. <laughs> and um, Shingen asking for a shout out, so I'm giving it right here. Shout out to Shingen. The score so far is 6 2, as you can see. And uh, I believe, from what I saw, that Polish Eagles are more, um, they have more experience with tactical uh, approaches. Whereas AD has always like given a, a good standoff, so I do believe that they are the better infantry. And on North Town, it's going to prove itself because um, this is close corner fighting right here. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Anything, mm -hmm. anything can still happen. I really think that they they must start strong as they said if they wanna have any chance of coming back. Yeah. They need 4-0 or 3-1. They need at least... Well, in order to win, they need a 4-0 and a 3-1. Uh, if they're just going to tie it, just two 3-1s will work. Yeah, if you think like that, if it's kind of far away. If they do tie it, does away. that mean a third map? Uh, or at least a third, rule. another set? There is overtime rule, but we'll talk about yeah. it if we actually see it. Gotcha. Field by the river. <laughs> Ew. 1v1 <laughs> 1v1 Kurgit's horse archer <laughs> That would be interesting <laughs> That would be cool What I did today um, was a duel with somebody as Swadian tanked up infantry But we took the <laughs> shittiest sword, right? <laughs> so it's that like glance, glance, glance You can yeah. stand there just spamming and not doing any damage Yeah, it took us like a... Uh, I mean, around five minutes to kill each other. Yeah, it was nice. pretty intense, though. Like every, <laughs> every time you got glanced, it was like, ah, I lost like a hundred of my health. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so going live, I believe. AD starting out with uh, one cav, two archers, two infantry. Interesting loadout, especially for Nords. I'm not sure what that uh, is gonna how that's gonna work out for them. I would have I think they're with... probably gonna try getting splits and uh, crossfires on PE. PE got three infantry, uh, a cav, and an archer, more like I expected from the Nords. They're pushing straight up, taking horns. Looks like yep. getting a crossbow up top, get a little bit of advantage point. It's I'm just like sure. you said, um, uh, with the classes I would change him around. I'm not sure what to think about... I think his name is May. Uh, Nord's Kev, he has like free spear, I believe. Yeah. I'm not sure what to uh -huh. think about that. A free spear, are you serious? A free spear is virtually useless, especially if you're trying to take out another uh, infantry with a spear or another cav with a lance. Wow. Um, he doesn't even have any jabs, which is the really sad bit. <laughs> 
What I mean, does he it, have? And nothing. If nothing else, he could have at least taken three packs of jabs and gotten a free sword from one of the infantry, and then he'd have something. But uh, I guess they they haven't done a lot of gear swapping or or whatnot, or didn't think of it. Yes. Both sides just holding where they are. AD holding the Grave Street and archway there, and uh, PE sticking by Gingerbread and Horns. I'm not sure where the master of the fields are, but it would make sense that they're at the same place. I believe yeah. so. You still got the same access, as I think, uh, except for the Nord spawn where you can come through with Cav pretty fast. Um, just for the viewers, can you explain what Gingerbread is? That's a uh, good turn. That's the house that you can run all the way around. It, Okay. So yeah. it's a common term in the uh, North American community. I, I don't know if Some names carry it over at all. Turn. Some call it, call it horseshoe, and others call it the gingerbread. Horseshoe? Yep. I've never yes. heard that one. Uh, looks like P's uh, crossbowman, Princella, is. Uh, Princella, whatever. Prince is uh, headed around to the right, hoping to get a crossfire on the Nords there. That's a very good flank by PE. They did. Beautiful job. We got both sides in at the same time. Wiped out a few of them. Prince getting a nice headshot. And AD down to a 3v1. Nixoff. Nice. That. that was a very nice swat by Nixoff there. Crossbow moving into melee. Probably the smart thing to do. Just because uh, yeah. uh, War H is so low on health. Broken shield, that's never a good thing. Mm. That was a very try. good teamwork by PE, but uh, also a very good try by Nixoff. Yeah, I, I gotta give it to him. Like, for what he had going, it was really good. He did, uh, did, he did very well uh, under the circumstances. This makes it a little bit more harder for AD to come back with um, scores that yeah, are showing right now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, AD moving up to horns, they're getting a little more aggressive here. They did swap out. There are one of their archers. That was a, I think, a good move. I guess we'll see if it pans out. I think uh, it's a good move because PE. They think they kinda can beat PE in, in melee. Pushing them back. They don't have their crossbow support at the moment, so this is a really good time for AD to be hitting them. Both sides with throwing weapons, not doing a lot at the moment. Fail glance by Nix off on Blackhawk, although he's. Almost dead. AD really need to finish off the 2v1 they had. Or... Didn't work out. Nixoff getting a nice kill on um, Ganicus. Prince <laughs> going into melee and taking out more guys than he's shot so far. <laughs> yeah, and he was shooting he a bit. It up. He was shooting a bit, but it wasn't going anywhere. And then he decided, like, oh, screw it. <laughs> yeah, I've been on there a rampage. few times. Generally play an archer. Uh, oh, me too. Archer's the best. I was I was primary cav for a long time, but uh, then our team uh, lacked or lost an archer, uh, so I swapped over to that. They're variable. I tell you that. Hmm. I don't know um, if this is truly an advantage point, what PE is doing, having one archer up uh, there. PE thing. moving in with their cav, that was a really dumb idea. He's dead. They have uh, no cav. And ADs is still up. This time he did get a, a light lance, so that's good. He'll be a little more useful. PE pulling back. They're getting a little bit split up now. If AD was able to push one segment of them, uh, they would have a really good advantage. If they were able to take out Ganicus, for example, while he's downstairs. Uh, but they're all up top now. Pretty much bottled up, though. They're very shaky about what to do, aren't they? They're not really decisive. Yeah, I think the, I think their leader went down. I think... I have no idea, but... Um, do you know who, who their leader is, Ermanos? I think who's it should be Ganicus. Okay. I would have called Yeah, they Prince. seem a little bit indecisive right now. Um, I'm not sure if they're waiting for flag or waiting to be shot, but AD Black is Hawk not is really being doing a little bit risky down there. 
trying to pull them out so they can get shot. If I was in North mm, right now, I'd push in. AD infantry, very aware of the archer above them, which is good. Cav Maybe is just cannot for drop flag. this round if they lose this or any other round if they lost the match. Yep. I, I believe in it though. I see the comeback happening. Looks like uh, flag is sort of an AD's favor, although they're gonna have to back up all the way there. Oh, they completely but ditched BE their is archer. Running scenic, or at least pushing the archer. What was that? Oh no, wait! New players already. Uh, wake AD up. archers hiding somewhere. Oh, okay, he's yeah, uh, he's headed up scenic. They're gonna get there long before the PE inf. I thought they completely That's ditched him. Very good move <laughs> if they can get the flag up and then hold it. Uh, they don't even have to kill all of PE for this win. Infantry are just hold delaying the the other guys there, giving their friend time to get the flag up. Although he's on it, he's got a two v one now. So that's not good. Cab. That was a nice kick by Blackhawk there. The P A D lost the flag. Yeah, now um, A D is suffering. Well, they had a good nice setup. shot by Prince. Gannicus takes down Rage. Oh, he's got virtually no health. Silver is fighting with his back to the crossbow. It was. He's feigning the hell out of it. <laughs> Probably gonna... No, no. Beautiful teamwork there. Ganic has just waited for him to open up. Yeah, AD is putting up a fight, but they're not quite a match for PE, it looks like. No, no, not at all. Well, they, they would be if it was like, go straight at each other, but they, they just make... Maybe, yeah, but I don't know. They make half calls, in my opinion. Like, they go for it, and yeah. then they stall, and then they ask themselves, what do we do now? Like, right here, they're pushing yeah. it very nice, but look what they do now, they just stop. Yeah. Right there. They, they need just... to follow through with it, push them off of the top. Yeah, Rage is not Their following. Cav is not helping at all right now, which is not a good thing. No, and Nick Suff was the only just guy going still. in, and there's this infantry just didn't now follow him. Pulling back. Either so. side. Oh, that was a nice headshot. Took half his, uh, a ta half a Blackhawk's health there. And now two the, the infantry decides Nord Cav to go going in. in. Good bump on Wrath uh, War H. That didn't really help. I think they should have put Prince at uh, infantry instead of crossbow. He's doing more damage there. Um, I, I oh, don't know. Wow. I mean, they already have nine Black points. Blackhawk with the jab. New player, I guess one, but that's it for that. They already have nine points. Oh. I think they're pretty much up to like okay, that play what you want. <laughs> yeah, I saw it as well. <laughs> And that's it for that set. Also the uh, the match, but they're gonna obviously play out the rest of it. It would be nice see if AD could take a few rounds just to polish yeah. the score. Yeah, it's always nicer to have like a close match ending than a really really open. One. I expect PE is gonna go inf heavy and just rush in. I just try and finish this. So P is probably gonna give chance to players that didn't real pilot now. So this is chance yep. for AD to take some. Well, runs. actually, they've only got one person who you know over their limit, and uh, they've been they have been swapping guys in over the past couple of sets. AD is the one with the all the people sitting. Although I think. Uh, Donat Rust is the only one that I haven't seen play yet. And, oh, okay, they've AD's got uh, I-310 in now. I wouldn't want to be in the AT team right now, because when you're behind on that many points, you're like, uh, usually your team speak can go two ways, either everyone is demoralized, or yeah. you're just like, okay, screw it, you know, we're having fun, let's do what we want, and go for it. Yeah. 
that's when you'll get the well either mindset can produce a cab charge or a you know everybody go crossbow with three crossbows you know that sort of thing where they start messing around but yeah yeah I hope they do. I want to see some crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I assume this one's wife. I didn't see a call of not live, so I think we can assume it is. Yeah, PE going for infantry and a cab, not even bothering an archer. AD. Uh, two infantry, two crossbows, and and uh, one cav. Trying the PE strategy right now. I don't know if they can pull it off, but we'll see. Infantry getting in, getting jabbed, and and this is the dead. difference in PE. They go for it right now. They're not holding back. They just go in exactly. at you. They're playing the way you should play as lords. <laughs> Straight at him. <laughs> Definitely. And their face. And it pays off. Yeah, and Look it paid that. off. They did. Uh, they only lost one one guy there. I think it was like two minutes fifty five when uh, the round ended. So then they wasted like a minute and a bit. That's it. A new player in P is doing a lot of damage. War. So if he does well here, maybe he'll play tomorrow in the final. A new player is in on the. On either uh, on the roster right now, he, he left. Looks like uh, AD being a little bit more conservative this time. Yep. Uh, holding back, although they are getting jabbed from the side. That was a big yawn, by the way. <laughs> Just to point that out. <laughs> um, PE going split on top. He's Cav with a pretty nice jab though. He's dismounting around a corner trying to get a lucky hit on the Cav or crossbow. His jabs are hurting AD a lot. Yes, they have been. Now he's coming in with a couch on the infantry and he got it. The uh, AD, I think the main problem, AD doesn't seem to be able to protect their archers very well. Uh, where P was doing a very good job at it. But um, what I noticed as well is that AD kind of seems like a group of battle players that come together for this weekend cup, whilst Polish Eagles, they all are Polish, so they speak and Dean speak in Polish, and they kind of know each other because they always play in the same clans or merc for each other. Yeah, you see that a lot uh, in, in tournament and stuff, teams of good individuals will come together and even though they're all good by themselves they don't necessarily mesh into a good a good team yeah uh, there's usually just too much ego to go around and ends up getting them killed yeah it's my assumption as well here um, I think that is I don't what's know if this is AD's, uh, AD's case I'm, I'm just saying in general I've, I've seen that a lot so yeah, it wouldn't really surprise me too much if that was the case this time He a lot of... lost a couple of guys that round. <laughs> I've seen a lot uh, of team hits happening on Polish I don't think uh, Medj is going to pull this off. Oh, nice takedown. Very nice takedown. I uh, missed it by a second. Maybe he can pull this round off. Uh, we'll see, I guess. It's uh. Of course. Yeah. Is it two twelve right now? Yeah, uh, that's right. My score messed up. Uh, oh, okay. that's right. Miel already has three jabs in his shield. Yep. So, teams that take advantage of throwing weapons are generally more. Uh, are, are you know veteran teams because throwing weapons can be really really deadly. Ah, uh, depends. I've played even against... a, even if you don't hit, like you can 
you can have one infantry standing off, and even uh, even if he doesn't hit an enemy, if he like hits a shield and interrupts an attack, it can it can get him killed. So they're very good uh, for multiple reasons. Yeah, I agree. It's it's also fun. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Just throw. Um, but I've seen it go wrong. Nor is well, really the ideal faction to get throwing weapons on. You can get three jabs, uh, free jabs from the cav, or um, you know, infantry once they have enough money can get some pretty good throwing axes. Blackhawk finishing off the mag guy there, and three yeah. owing so far. He chambered the first hit, and then he did. He hold the chamber, I think, because he did a nice outside swing that was so fast. My camera didn't yeah. catch it. Yeah, mine barely did, and I've got pretty good frames. 120 at the moment. I'm running at 250, and I didn't see it. <laughs> so uh, it was it was pretty damn quick. He placed it really well. Yep. P Cav going in. Almost taken out the crossbow. Hmm. Ooh, a very good cow, this Trebron guy. Nice bump lance. A <laughs> beautiful throw by Prince there. Seems uh, quite good at the whole jab thing. Yeah, I think um, PE pretty much had it. Like, he, he was a little stronger at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. I don't know if you guys want to add something to, to this match. Oh. What is Darth Angel doing here? You. <laughs> well, I think that they really missed chance on open map Quagmire to get more rounds. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I think they just got a little strategically outplayed. I think uh, Polish that's Eagles it, had yeah. more planning into it, and that's why I think it, it failed. Like you said, I think P has more experience, Commander. And that was the difference here today. That will make a, a very, very big difference, even if you got a good team, a skilled team. Um, the Commander can, can get them all killed. Alright, um, I would like to thank Arminos for being here with me. Um, do you have any shoutouts? I think Prince did really well today, like always, <laughs> as Archer. Erminas, don't ignore me. <laughs> I asked if you and wanted... And of course, we're gonna see each other again, I think. Oh, okay. An hour or two. Uh, yeah, probably. And um, <laughs> Sparhawk, I'd like to thank you as well, you did really great as commentator. Yeah, it was fun, thanks for having me. And uh, any anyone you wanna give a shout out to? Uh... Not particularly at the moment. I have no idea who's watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was it was fun. It it'll be interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing more of this. I would I would enjoy it if I uh, did have the opportunity to get to know the European clans a bit. Yeah. Um, Look forward to that. Well, you'll get to know them um, if you keep on watching or if you keep on commentating with me. Which is always an option. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, myself, I like to thank you guys for co-casting with me. It's uh, it's always yeah. Thank to... you as well for uh, for streaming. Uh... Oh no problem. No problem. And uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it. So it'll be a good night from us. Goodbye.